Yo, David in Manchester, you still recognize me? I got the white ones on, color 770. Zoom in. Zoom out. See, I look better up close, don't I? Okay, back to work. I'm going to cut your polarized G15 lenses for your Ray-Ban 2132. Why? Because you are too cheap to buy a frame from me, so you're getting lenses only, you cheap bastard. And I have permission from, from your wife to call you that. Okay, so I'm going to pull this protective sleeve off of your lens. Your, your wife's lens came from a different company. These I'm getting from someone else, so that's why they look different. I'm pulling off the protective sleeve because they are sanitized for your protection. But what do you know about sanity? So you don't need them sanitized. Okay, off that comes. Get off my finger. Get off! So, oh, I need to trace your frame. So, which one am I going to do? This was the one I wore in the last video, the tortoise, which is what you own. This is the blue crystal I was wearing in my other videos that made you want to buy this one. But this is as close as you're going to get to your frame that I was saving for you. So, I'm going to pop the lenses out, which you would have been wearing. And I'm going to put the frame. This is as close as you're getting to it. New lenses cut for your frame. And then I'm going to sell this frame tomorrow to a homeless person. By the way, this is freeprescriptionlenses.com, where everyone loves a bargain, and no one is disappointed with quality. They're just disappointed with abusive, vulgar language that I spew every day. And if you're coming in halfway in, David and I go way back. We're old friends for two weeks, so that's why I can talk to him like this. We've been through a lot together. Okay, so pull your shape up on the computer. If this were your pupillary distance, I would type that in but it's not, so I'm just gonna match it the frame. This is a polycarbonate lens being cut for a plastic frame. So your polycarbonate lenses, again, the G15, you can test if they're polarized by holding them next to each other, you can see through it, but you hear the term polar opposites. These are the 180 meridian, that's why they're shaped this way, so I know not to do this, but if I hold them together and rotate them 90 degrees, it goes pitch dark. Pretty cool special effects, better than any Bond movie. So I need to put this block on here while they're cutting and I'm just going to put it on whichever way because I really don't care. It's not like you're ever going to show up at my door if I miscut these. Okay, I forget there's other people watching. I'll, I'll take care. I'll make sure they're cut properly. I'm going to stick the little block on there. Put the sticker on this side. Put the little block on there. And I'm going to take your lens, put it into the Chuck. Or as I like to say, the Charles because I don't know it well enough to call it Chuck. Chucky baby maybe but not Chuck that's just you know that's wrong so now this is tracing your backside ooh look it's going around your backside look at it just tracing waxing and rubbing it spanking it pow 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 and now it's going to move over to your front side California rules it's going to rub your front side this is the convex it's very vexing most vexing most vexing is both sides of the lenses and now it's going to start cutting. The cutting wheel down there at the bottom, blah, blah, blah. The bevel wheel down there at the bottom, blah, blah, blah. You do have unbreakable bulletproof lenses, both UVA, UVB protection, and a very loud lens. If you don't believe me, now you believe me. Was that not loud enough? David, why you got such a loud lens? And so now I will reenact as your first English settlers left your king and came to America. They left Plymouth and landed in Plymouth. What's the odds of that? But I will reenact how they came across the ocean. Oh wait, they hit some turbulent waves. Look at those rough waves. It's a big storm, a big storm. Look at that water going across the bow of the ship. And yet somehow they made it to America safely. <laughs> By the way, folks, I am a professional licensed optician. Would you like to see my license? Let me go out on the sales floor. That is the sales floor. That is me, Matthew Libby, State Board of Opticians, certifies that I am certified crazy. By the way, voted best optical shop in the Triangle five years in a row. I ran out of wall space. That was the first year, second, third, fourth, and fifth, and I'm waiting to hear if number six happens. This is my lovely tent tank. <laughs> This is my fan for when it gets warm. This is my sign. You gotta like it. You gotta like it. It gets to the point. It says what I do. 
Oh yeah, get your lenses ready. Okay, here we go. Your packet. What am I doing? What am I doing? Where's my pen? Man, this is a bad pen. Ray-Ban 2132, size 52, Polar G15. And for those of you keeping score at home, the 15 means that this lens blocks 85% of all visible light and only lets 15% of available light pass through, transmit through the lens. And actually, this is the really cool thing. The UV, and I don't understand how this happened, is actually absorbed into the lens and you wipe it off when you clean your lens. It's not reflected out, none of that stuff. That's absorbed into the lens. And you know what? I like it like that, so I'm going to send it to you like that. I'm going to let you use your thumbnail to scrape it off your lens. Let's see if it fits in there. That it does. Pop that out. Would you like to receive it that way? You can't ask. Ooh, look, there was a good piece. Look, a little giblet right there. little gizzard hanging on there. Okay, I'm going to scrape it off. I'll scrape it off. I don't have your permission to send it all messy-like. Well, you'll have to clean it and put it in your dust bin because you guys don't have any garbage cans. You got dust bins. Oh, wait, that fit. Okay, so let me cut the left lens. Where's your left lens? What'd I do with it? What'd I do with it? Oh, there it is. It's hiding over there. <sighs> Did I remind you guys that I'm professional? It's about time you found out. Okay, in goes your left lens. Back to tracing your backside. You know, I did it once, and then we did it twice. And uh, who knows how many times it'll, it'll go from there. So, okay, I'm out of material. Now, you be funny for five minutes, David. I'm just going to sit here and wait, okay? Ooh, my watch keeps doing stuff. David! David! Put some little fangs down here. So your lens is now cutting. Put some lips on there maybe. Whoops. Your left lens is cutting. We will continue working on your right lens. We're going to put it inside its protective sleeve. We're going to take this block off. Hang on. Let me get the special tool. Where's my special tool? I'm going to put it in there. I love to eat lenses. <laughs> That's not working. Okay, take the block off. Clean this up. Get this ready to put it into its protective sleeve. And I want you to know I follow current events. That's why my, my calendar still says April 2014. One of these days I'm going to flip it, but I'm going to wait a month. So, your lens goes into a protective sleeve. Fold it over for twice the perfection. Protection, not perfection. There's nothing perfection coming out of this lab. So it's folded over twice the protection. We're halfway there. And to make sure it is unbreakable, I slap it on the counter a couple times. Yep, we're good to go. Personally, I wouldn't do that with my lenses, but since, since it's your lenses, I feel okay doing it. I'm gonna amuse your kids, because I'm certainly not amusing you. Man, watching this water go, I shouldn't have drunk all that coffee. Man, this is gonna make me um, make me um, have to uh, say more bad jokes. Did I ever tell you that I was so poor growing up that there weren't any generals in my toy soldier collection? So I had to play with my privates. That's how poor I was when I was growing up. How poor were you? I was so poor, I had to play with my sunglasses. <laughs> I dare you to do this at your job, David. I dare you. I dare you. Make a video of you being this silly with your customers, your patients, whatever it is you do. Whatever it is you do, you need to do more of it so you buy this frame. Come on now, my wife needs a new pair of, uh, of uh, thongs. <laughs> I am in so much trouble. So much trouble. Okay, I need to pop this lens out. Pop the block off. There goes my tortoise. Pop that off. You know what, for you, I'm going to leave the sticker on there so you know it's real. Is that okay? Can I leave that on your lens? I will do that. Let me... Let me just uh, pull.
pull that off, clean everything up. I have never done this before. This is new, new and unexpected. I will put the sticker on there for you. So you can see me pulling these off. Now you have a real size sticker that this block had been attached to. So I will do that for you. You are the only customer on earth I've ever done that for. There's a few other galaxies I've done it for, but I'm gonna put it in there. And of course, as you know, I take pictures of everything before shipping. You will see that on your lens. This is your lens. I'm gonna stuff it in here with your wife's. Look, the two of you in an envelope. Ooh, what are you guys gonna do? Your wife's lenses are still in there. There's your wife's lenses. I never did fold these up better and stick them in there. Dun, dun, dun. And I will be giving your wife a cleaning cloth. You, you get nothing since you didn't buy the frame from me. I had such high hopes. I thought I could have been somebody. But I'm gonna put your mailing label right there. And to know that this is the envelope you're getting, I'm gonna put a dot right there. Make sure you look for that when it comes. Make sure you look for that little blue dot. David, David, DG. Does that stand for Dolce Gabbana? Okay, anyway, that way you know it's yours. David, it has been a pleasure well, your pleasure. I mean, really, let's face it. You get to see me the whole time. I get to see... No, well, you did send me one picture. One picture. I want a picture of you and the Mrs. You know, a, a plutonic picture, please. Come on, the kids are watching. You know, this is a family-oriented website. At least that's what my wife tells me. One of these days, it just might actually be. So, that is it. I hope you enjoyed me and my shenanigans. It is 8.44. I get to go home and work for a few more hours until the witching hour of 11 to 12. Oh, but what I was going to say in the last video, I am going to take Monday off. I'm going to take my wife up. We're going to drop the top in her BMW convertible and drive around the mountains of North Carolina. I will take pictures of you and send them to you so you know that I am vacationing. I am not going to die of a heart attack at 53. I'll, I'll raise your bet. I'll die of a heart attack at 51. Don't kill me. Don't kill me! So if anyone has any questions, just email me at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have seen how I bring that loving feeling back to glasses. Thank you.